Everybody got it? 24? All right. Let's uh, pray it and then we'll sing the song. Heavenly Father, we just pray you guide and direct in this time. Uh, guide our brother Jose as he brings a devotional or a testimony, Lord. And we just pray, Lord, help us to just be fully surrendered to you, to be available and usable for your glory. Guide by your spirit, we pray in this time. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right. To God be the glory, great things he hath done. So loved he the world that he gave us his Son, who yielded his life and atonement for sin, and opened the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. O oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, great things he hath done. O oh, perfect redemption, the purchase of blood, to every believer the promise of God, the vilest offender who truly believes that moment from Jesus forgiveness receives. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. O come to the Father through Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, great things he hath done. Great things he hath taught us, great things he hath done. And great our rejoicing through Jesus the Son. But purer and higher and greater will be our wonder, our transport when Jesus we see. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. O oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, great things he hath done. Amen. And now it's time to rehearse the verse. A couple volunteers here. There's one volunteer, <laughs> another one. Charlotte. Here you go. <laughs> okay, I don't think we have to rehearse this one too many times. I think everybody. I hope everybody has this one memorized already. All right. Are we just gonna flip it over now? Yeah. Uh, nobody needs to go through it. All right. Go ahead and flip it over. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 All right. All right, and now our brother Jose will bring us a devotional or testimony. Testimony. All right. Okay, I uh, brought a few outlines here. Yeah. We got three hours. Take all night. Do you, people you, start falling from the third you, loft? Do you need a podium? Or are you <laughs> Would you like a podium? Uh, I like a soapbox. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, I was uh, brought up Catholic in my younger years until I joined the service. 
in the service. Uh, of course, I was on the ship for four whole years. Uh, no place to pray. Uh, naturally, I fell away from the uh, from the face. And uh, of course, after I got out, I didn't pursue that. Although I kept in my mind, I've got to go to church some sometime. So when I got married to uh, Lucille, I used to call her uh, <laughs> Lou. Anyway, uh, I mentioned uh, to her about going to church, and she would say, "Well, there's Saint Columbus here, there's Saint Joseph over there. Why don't you go to the churches? You're Catholic." And I say, well, something missing, and I just don't feel like uh, like uh, those are the right ones for me. So I just wait for a sign. So during that time, Lucille uh, made plans to go to garage sales all the time, and she was also a branch manager at uh, NAS Myanmar at the time for the trouble desk. And this one time, she needed some help. So she hired a young lady by the name of uh, Cindy. And uh, this one time, the, uh, Cindy had a problem. She talked to my wife and she says, well, I need to get baptized so I can uh, go to heaven. And my wife says, no, you're into to be baptized. So she says, uh, I know of a, a place where I can go, some church. And it's, well, they went on for a while, and uh, in the meantime, here they go to garage sales. And one time they read about a uh, uh, yard sale. I, go, uh, I think it was, uh, well, it was the chapel here, this chapel. Mm -hmm. They went and only time they had a yard sale. <laughs> so here they drove up, and uh, Pastor Jim was the same person that my wife had known back a few years earlier in Pacific Beach. So, oh, talk about all renewing all acquaintances. So then my wife told uh, J uh, Pastor Jim about what Cindy had said. And Pastor Jim led Cindy to a dinner sinner's prayer. Mm. Uh, this time, I had worked half a day on that Saturday. So I got home, I was uh, uh, untying things from my car. And here comes my wife and, C and, and Cindy in her little VW. Cindy gets out of the car and says, guess what, Jose? So what? I just, she says, I just received uh, Jesus as my Savior. I said, great, great. She says, well, we're going to church tomorrow. You want to come? And I said, well, <laughs> I've been waiting for a sign. Maybe this is it. So next, next day, next morning, I come to church. And by glory, look at all these friendly people here with smiles, welcoming <laughs> with open arms. So. As uh, leaving the ch after the service, the pastor talked to me and says, uh, well, he says, we're having a, a what's that, now Bible study on Thursdays. He says, you want to learn more about Jesus? I said, yes. So, okay, he says, well, I said, do you have a Bible? No, I was Catholic at the time. I've been Catholic. No Bible, no Bible at church at that time. So he says, well, I suggest you go to the Bible store and get yourself the easiest one to uh, uh, learn by is the American Standard Bible. So, okay, so I went to my bookstore for my Bible. Here comes the Thursday, ready to learn something about Jesus. Well, this went on for about three weeks, and uh, finally, on the third week, Pastor Jim says, uh, Are you ready to receive the Lord now? I says, I don't think I'm ready yet. He says, what do you mean? I says, well, I just don't feel right just, just yet yet. He says, well, you don't have to be ready. Just come as you are. <laughs> so he took me up to a corner and led me through the uh, sinner's prayer. And I tell you, I felt like about 20 pounds or more falling off my shoulder. Mm. So slowly but surely, bad, bad habits started falling away. But I was a drink all the time, so much that my wife thought I was an alcoholic. So one time, we're at uh, uh, Casa Machado by the airport, it's a restaurant. And my wife and I went up to the side of the bar and I, I ordered my usual drink. 
and a couple of our friends showed up about two minutes, uh, 10 minutes later, and they sat at a table. So we started chatting away, and then and, uh, the guy said, John, says, well, why don't you come over and join us? So we went to the table, and my wife uh, had been uh, conversing with them about our being born again, going to church. So finally, uh, we finished our drinks, and John says, okay, I'll buy the next round. He says, what do you want? So each person said what they wanted. And of course, I had been drinking, drinking rum and coke then. He says, okay, we'll say, what do you want? What do you want to drink? Before I could answer, I saw a head come out with a drink, and I had come out with a Bible. There's something inside me said, ah, just give me Coke. I had no thought ever, ever of giving up drinking, but just came out of my mouth, just give me Coke. Ever since then, this is 1989, I had no desire for any alcoholic beverage. Mm. Awesome. And uh, just to sum up what God has been doing in my life right now, for the past uh, 10 years about the just a member of the Veterans Foreign Wars, the VFW. For the past 10 years I have been elected to be chaplain of the post. And to this day, again, this is the first month of the 10th year I'm serving as chaplain. God is working wonders. And I got the, uh, the commander was four last year, he was kind of a, not a very nice guy to talk about, talk with, but he made mention after one of the meetings, he says, if I can do without cursing in the meetings, everybody can. <laughs> so now the new commander I have uh, now, he's with me, he's got my back all the time, so anybody says anything and, and I call him up on it, so I say, wait a minute, can you can you uh, watch your language? And they want to argue with me. The members say, I don't have to say anything. The members will say, hey, he's a chaplain. And <laughs> just zip their tongue. <laughs> and I praise God for the, for the uh, things they've been doing in my life and through me. And uh, well, may this go forth to all the people that I come in contact with that. Uh, Speaking the right things, not using bad words is the best way to go. And I found that uh, when I used to belong uh, to a CB club, Citizens Band, there was a poem I used to sign up with. Keep your, keep your words soft and sweet. No, wait a minute. Be careful that the words you say, so keep them soft and sweet. You never know from day to day which ones you will have to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Everybody got it? 552? All right, so praise the Lord. That's what Jose has been ever since he came to the Lord, a channel for the Lord to shine through him and for people to see Christ in him, the hope of glory. And, and we hope that we can all be channels for the Lord. Amen. That uh, we know that we need that washing of the water through the word to clean us out, right? So it's very important to be in the word every day like the the Bereans, right? Search the scriptures daily, right? So we can re recognize those counterfeits when they come by, all these false teachings. So it's very important. All right, so here we go. How I praise thee, precious Savior, 
and thy love laid hold of me. Thou hast saved and cleansed and filled me, that I might thy channel be. Channels only, blessed Master, but with all thy wondrous power. Flowing through us, thou canst use us every day and every hour. Empty that thou shouldest fill me, a clean vessel in thy hand, with no power but as thou givest graciously with each command. Channels only, blessed Master, but with all thy wondrous power. Flowing through us, thou canst use us every day and every hour. Witnessing thy power to save me, setting free from self and sin, thou who thoughtest to possess me, in thy fullness, Lord, come in. Channels only, blessed Master, but with all thy wondrous power, flowing through us, thou canst use us every day. that full surrender know that the streams of living water from our inner man may flow channels only blessed master but with all thy wondrous power flowing through us thou canst use us Every day and every hour. All right, now we'll close with a chorus. All right. We'll turn to the book of Jude, the last two verses. Uh, what chapter is that, Scott? Jude, chapter one. <laughs> or the last chapter, it's both. <laughs> it's the same. Okay. The last two verses. King James Version here, 24 and 25. Everybody got it? All right. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God our Savior be glory majesty, dominion, and power, both now and ever. Amen. Amen. We could sing it again if you want. Yes. All right. Sure. I think everybody knows it, right? So, <laughs> but yeah, so one more time. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power. Father, we're just so thankful that you are able to keep us from falling, Lord, as we walk in the Spirit and not in the flesh. Lord, we just pray, help us, Lord, to put our full faith and trust in you and not to think more highly of ourselves than we ought to think, Lord, for we know apart from you, we can do nothing. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. 
Father, just help us to be fully surrendered and available and usable for you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.